In this video, we'll show you how to use SIN 7 Core to automatically notify your team and or customers of important system updates that keep your business moving forward while reducing administrative overhead. We'll also explore the reminders feature to automate task creation, alerting your team to necessary actions on their transactions. Users can access these notifications and reminders through the bell icon in their respective tabs or have notifications delivered via email. Let's start by creating a notification. Access the Automations module through Settings, then click Automation. From the Automations page, click Notifications. Notifications are a popular feature due to their ease of use and practicality. You can set them up to send updates on various aspects of your business, including customers, suppliers, sales, products, purchases, your B2B portal, stock, tasks, productions, and returns. We'll create a stock notification. One of our most used notifications is the minimum stock hit. This feature alerts your team when stock levels fall below the minimum thresholds. On the notification setup page, choose how you want to receive notifications. Through the internal bell icon menu, via email, or both. You can also opt to send notifications to a third-party app using the external option. We'll be creating both an internal and email notification. Now let's set the frequency for this notification to be sent daily, starting today, and we'll schedule it to be sent early in the morning before the staff arrives. Next, use the message template field to customize the message the system will send. You can use the dynamic text options to auto-populate information related to the notification. With this setup, Users can now start seeing the minimum stock level notifications in the bell icon menu. Remember, internal notifications are sent to all users. If you want to specify who receives these notifications, use email notifications instead, which we'll cover next. Now let's open the email tab and set up your email notification. We'll again need to establish the frequency, including the start date and the time it should be sent. Next, decide whether you want the notification to go out to all your internal users, all your company contacts within your reference books, or keep it limited to only the designated email recipients. Then, designate who will receive the email notifications by selecting one or more of the mailing lists you created in the automations module, including those with external emails such as customers. You can also add any email addresses you want to BCC. After that, customize the email subject line and the body of the email notification. You have dynamic text options available here to personalize both the subject line and the email body. Once your notifications are ready, set them to active and save your changes. Your team will now receive automated emails whenever your products hit minimum inventory levels keeping you informed and in control without the stress of constantly checking your stock. Let's move on to setting up automated reminders, which are even easier to set up than notifications, yet provide crucial reminders for your team about actions needed on their transactions. When you open the reminders menu, you'll see options for assemblies, opportunities, purchases, sales, and stock. Simply toggle on the reminders you want to enable. These reminders are sent to the person attached to the transaction or the one with approval permissions. They can then open the bell icon menu and click a reminder to open a detailed page where they can take necessary actions, such as following up on outstanding payments or obtaining management approval. And that's how easy it is to set up a reminder. Check out all the notifications and reminders available and activate the ones that make the most sense for your business. Then follow the same simple process you just learned to set them up.